In the last episode of Is Jesus an Historical Figure? We determined the birth of Christ to occur during the year 2 BC. So when did he die? When researching this, the dates range from 30 to 36 AD. According to Luke, Jesus was about 30 years old when he started to preach. So when adding 30 years to 2 BC, we come to the year 29 AD. So his ministry started between the year 29 AD to 30 AD. According to the Gospel of John, three Passovers were recorded. Since this is a yearly event, his ministry lasted for three years. If Yeshua started his ministry in 29 AD, then he would die in the year 32 AD. If he started his ministry in 30 AD, before his 33rd birthday, then he would die in the year 33 AD. Are there any other clues that can help us narrow down the correct date? We know that he died on the Passover and that he also resurrected on the first day of the week, three days later. The good thing is, we know all the dates of all the past Passovers, since they occur on the 15th day of the 7th month on the Jewish calendar, which is in sync with the lunar cycle. In other words, it occurred during a full moon. So we can start to eliminate the Passovers based on the criteria they had to die on a Friday to resurrect three days later on a Sunday. Here are all the Passover dates, ranging from 30 to 36 AD. Only two dates fall within that category. Friday, April 7th, 30 AD, and Friday, April 3rd, 33 AD. If Yeshua died in 30 AD, then he would have to be born 4 BC. This fits the assumed 4 BC date, but remember, Quirinius was not the governor at this time, and history does not know who the governor of Syria was during 2 BC, except Luke. No contradictions so far. So what other criteria can we use to eliminate the possibility of the 30 AD death and 4 BC birth. It is stated that John the Baptist started his preaching during the 15th year reign of Tiberius Caesar. He started his reign during the year 14 AD, which brings his 15th year reign between the year 29 to 30 AD. Then there is another amazing sign that occurred. It was recorded in ancient prophecy and affirmed by the Apostle Peter that the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. There was no lunar eclipse on April 7th 30 AD, but there was a partial lunar eclipse that turned half the moon red on April 3rd, 33 AD. As a matter of fact, of all the Passover dates between 30 to 36 AD, only April 3rd, 33 AD fits perfectly with all the criteria. Death on a Friday Passover with a lunar eclipse. Such accuracy is amazing. So with these data sets, we can deduce that Yeshua's birth month was after April, and we have determined the exact date of his birthday. And it is not December 25th. To find out the exact date, you will have to watch the movie upon release. There is nothing observed that contradicts the Bible.